Hi there, my name is Chelsea, and if you are new to my channel, I'm here to share all things self-love and self-care. In this video today, I'm going to share with you how to simultaneously embrace difficult emotions while also maintaining a healthy, positive attitude. My goal is that by the end of this video, you've gained a better understanding of how to balance these two seemingly polar opposite concepts. I believe it's important to disclaim right away that I do not subscribe to toxic positivity. In no way do I think it is healthy to force feel-good emotions and to shove down the challenging ones. I believe in just the opposite. I firmly believe that all feelings are meant to be felt, no matter how uncomfortable or unwanted they may be. And I also believe that if we don't hold a healthy space for these emotions, then they will undoubtedly manifest in harmful ways later on. Essentially, I believe in the phrase, you have to feel to heal. That being said, I do think having a positive attitude while we're embracing difficult feelings is incredibly helpful and necessary. And having a positive attitude can almost serve as an anchor when you are experiencing difficult emotions so that you don't get lost in it. Allow me to explain how I balance the two. When feelings such as anger, sadness, jealousy, despair, loneliness, anxiety, when these types of feelings arise, it's really tempting to just avoid them altogether. And that's mainly because they're very uncomfortable and overwhelming to deal with. However, avoiding these feelings is problematic because no matter how inconvenient or uncomfortable they may be, these are healthy emotions that need to be felt in order for them to pass. Step one is to remove any shame around the emotion, recognizing that it is completely normal and healthy to experience a wide range of feelings. This does not mean you are any less of a person or any less strong of an individual. This simply means you are human. My goal here is to first name the emotion and then to validate it rather than to shun it. So what that might look like for me is saying, I feel sad today and that's completely okay. No matter how uncomfortable it feels today, I am safe to feel this emotion. Step two is I remind myself that this emotion is only temporary. So no matter how uncomfortable this anxiety, sadness, or anger, etc., may be, that this is temporary, but only if I allow myself to feel it and experience it. Step three is I then attempt to process the emotion. So what that might look like for me is pulling out my phone notes or a journal, and it doesn't take very much time, but what I do try to do is just reflect on what might be causing this emotion. What might be the root of this emotion? And I don't always have the answer to that, and that is totally okay. But it's good to just reflect on it and see if you can kind of get a sense of why you might be feeling this way. Step four, the final step, is I think of ways I can compassionately show up for myself. For some days that might be removing some to-dos from my list. Other times it could be just making a small effort to get in a bubble bath or to go for a long walk or listen to a sermon or just something that kind of recharges me and refills me and helps me to recenter myself. And other times that could be really just getting back to basics, making myself a healthy meal and just being more in the present moment and slowing down. To summarize, the positivity aspect throughout this process is in the little details. So for me that looks like telling myself it is okay to feel this way, reminding myself it will pass, and lastly by showing up for myself in supportive, compassionate ways that help make the process a little bit more bearable. I hope this video today helped you to feel better equipped to embrace difficult emotions while also maintaining a positive attitude. Please feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or insight to share on this topic.